Good afternoon, Recon here with TechOut. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Defender Pro for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Um, this is, as far as I can tell, the same as a regular Defender that you would find on a Note 8, an iPhone 10, um, anything like that. But they did add the Pro branding for some reason to the Note 9 series of cases. Um, it says Pro Drop Protection, Limited Lifetime Warranty, Otter Armor, Microbial Defense. Um, it is screenless, so there's no plastic screen protector on there like we are seeing a lot with the new outer boxes because of the curved screens. Same thing on the back, belt clip and holster. Um, protects the exterior from many common germs. Does not protect the screen, printed graphic, or holster. So this is the blue one, by the way. Um, the blue and the gray. They did not have any black ones at Best Buy when I picked up my Note 9 this morning. It just slides right out. Everything is already here. Um, so this is a new texture. Um, it's not smooth on the back. It does have these lines running through it, which is kind of cool. Um, it does add some texture. Not really any grip or anything like that, but just a new design. Um, let's go ahead and take it out of that. Um, the instructions are on the bottom there. I'm just going to leave them there. You don't really need those. You do have your gray um, inner piece, which shines through the back and comes through the front. Um, and then it's blue on the rubber piece. Go ahead and take it apart and we'll see how easy it is to get the Note 9 in there. Hopefully it's not too difficult. I know, I know some of these new Otter boxes can be quite stiff and hard to get the phone in the first time. Um, and I do like the screenless edition Otter box cases. I do prefer them. Um, I don't like the gap that the plastic screen protectors um, leave between the phone and the screen. It just kind of messes up the feel of the phone and makes it not as responsive in my opinion. Um, so there's that. I'm going to go ahead and take my Note 9 here and put it in there. One thing I found is you have to get this bottom piece on first. Um, so you have to kind of like snap that in first. I don't think it's always been like that, but on these new ones, if you don't get that in first, you can't get the rest of it snapped down. So there is that. That is all good. There's the Note 9 waking up. Go ahead and put it in here. It's almost like a, not really a gray, I guess. I guess in the right light, it's more of a tan, um, grayish tan, if that makes any sense, kind of inner plastic. But basically the same thing that's come with every blue otter box case and then the black cases obviously come with the black plastic so there is that everything is snapped down get that one last piece in there um, close that back up so you got a nice cutout here for your fingerprint sensor to get into your phone you got a nice slope down there so you can see where it is um, overall feels very nice in the hand it is a big you know bigger bulkier case um, but that's you know the defender line for you it is a very protective case um, of course you have your holster here, so you can put it on your belt clip, which is very useful for a phone like this, um, especially for people with smaller pockets. Um, this phone is going to be a tough one to get in um, to smaller pockets as it is a 6.4 inch screen. Um, you can also put it in like this to protect the screen, so if you bump up against stuff, you're not going to be hitting the screen. Um, if for some reason you want to, you can put it screen facing out, it does have that for both um, you know the belt clip and then this is also your stand right here so you just press this in and that can prop up your phone if you want to view um, movies or something like that say you're on an airplane you can prop it up and do that snaps back down and you're back to a holster you just flip it around and stick it back in so very nice feels very nice um, your ports here you have good you know your port cutouts are pretty good everything works um, S Pen is easy to get out. There is a nice opening for the S Pen and your speaker right here on the right hand side. And overall feels like a nice case in the hand. Um, probably one I'll use for a while. I do have some other ones here um, that I will be checking out a little later on that you've already seen videos on. Um, this Chinese one right here and then two speaking cases, just a clear one and then one with a card holder on the back. So those are the cases I currently have for the Note 9. This has been Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments section. And as always, have a great day.